we are not at the Goodwill down the street by our house. We're actually the one probably about 35 minutes away. We're gonna go to Goodwill's that we haven't been to in probably over nine months. We're gonna see what we can find a flip line for a profit. What did you find? An Apple accent lamp. Cracker Barrel. Oh, Cracker Barrel. Some of that stuff goes for pretty good. Remember the time we sold the Cracker Barrel uh, little wall hanging thing for like 90 bucks? Look at these little crosses. They're nice. Ceramic. I thought it would be like Atlantic mold or something. Summer Squeeze. Just a bottle. Interesting. What's in here? Taiwan, T1, what's that? Medicus Sport, oh that's a good name brand. Nine bucks though. Um, I got a feeling it's probably not worth nine dollars. We would definitely look this up though. The swing trainers are usually like 40, 50 bucks, but I'm guessing that this won't be worth a whole bunch. A Moby alert button. It was twenty four seventy, and they're getting eight bucks for it. Nine nine cent duct tape. Huh? Everybody can use duct tape. What'd you find? Oh, I caught everybody slipping. I, that definitely does not go to that. This lid does not go to this. Um, but oh, I got all clad sun. Everybody missed it. There's like six million resellers in there. They only want they want eight bucks for it, which is pretty high. But all clad this with with the lid would be a hundred dollars. Um, without the lid's probably like sixty. It's in good condition. It's um she didn't have any type of wobble or warp or anything like that. But you're always looking for that. That's a steal of a deal. So it's pretty good for eight bucks. I don't need the lid though. The lid's also damaged. It was yeah. sitting on it. I mean, we might be able to sell the lid. It is a um. Simply Cala plumps and something, so we might be able to sell the lid for probably maybe sell the lid for seven and get that for totally free because it, it was sitting on it. So I don't know, I mean, it's just a waste of time with the lid. But I wonder if there's any more about BHG, big what? Big Willie style? BHG, I don't know about no BHG. <laughs> I have better homes than gardens. Uh, yeah. That's actually uh, an enamel metal, that's pretty neat. Oh my goodness, there's another one. Is it really? Here. I don't want the camera on, you got yours? Yep. Shut your mouth. Is that it? Yeah, all <gasps> clad. Six what? bucks. Six bucks for all clad. It's got a little bit of damage to the, no, that ain't much. Man, stop using utensils. This is real oh. time I, I didn't yell at you. Yes, you But did. I was spirited about using wrong what utensils. What are you doing <laughs> using a metal spatula with a... With a Teflon coated. Teflon coated hand. Because of that. Because it Probably everybody can relate to that though. Because it destroys the Teflon. Put me back here. Oh, I thought that was Salad Master and I was like, dude, that's actually going to Heinz, which is still pretty good. But without the label, we don't really like those. This back here. Oh yeah, what is that? That looks like Queen. That's a Duncan Hines. That's a nicer one though. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see. Nothing here. to see. How much you got yes. that for? It's different on the top. Uh -oh. I mean, the bottom is different. Hey, wait a the... second. Does that fit this one back here? It's like that game. Boom. That's it. Is that it? Yeah. It's worth huh. it for three bucks now. Nice. 100%. I love that we're looking at pans. It's a shame they don't have the lid for the other one. But I go grab a buggy. Always looking for the pots and pans. That ain't too shabby. There's a Nike, Nike shocks right here. A lot of these are damaged beyond repair a lot of times. Some of them are worth a lot of money, some are not worth hardly anything. These are. Actually, they're not in bad condition. That shop looks a little messed up. There's codes on the inside, obviously, so all you have to do is just look at the code. Usually, crack right here. Okay. 
Yeah, seven years. So shoes here are expensive, so they're not gonna work a whole bunch. Old camo is always good. What type of camo is this? Outfitters Ridge. Probably not the best. No, probably not. What do you got going on there? Was that Elvis? For eight dollars? Nah, ain't no way. Look at six bucks. Ninety-nine. Vintage Elvis Wolf. Thirty-five. Twenty. Fifty. I know it's a clock. Yeah, that's a clock. What is vintage Elvis colored on lacquered wood frame? Thirty-five. Ninety-nine. It's a clock also. Oh, that's a clock also. Okay, seems like the clock. They can make this a clock. But the ones that could be. Oh, they're listed. Is that a clock? No, yeah. that's just on wood. 97 bucks, 50 bucks. Eight bucks. Yeah, I mean, that's it. There's so many listed, though. How many is listed? Oh, wow. Yeah, like hundred of them. They're so high. Oh, that one's fifteen dollars. Hmm. That's yeah, I would say no. There's too many listed, not enough, enough sold. Man, I thought it was real cool. If it was one ninety nine, I'd take a chance. Eight bucks? That's crazy. It's not the good stuff, is it? The chair? It's an antenna. What is that thing? It's, oh, it's literally falling apart. Excellent. A note? Yeah. For the old booth. What type of fan is that? Nothing. A big old rotisserie up there. You can actually sell the motors out of rotisseries part of them not seeing anything in this area. Got some ring lights. Ring lights used to be like five bucks. Now ring lights are like $12.99. That's like the going rate for them, which is insane. All right, we're in. We've accessed the case. Man, there is a ton of fishing gear in here. That is super cool. Usually you never see this, and it's old. Heavy rock cod made in Korea. There's some bigger. Oh, maybe that side guy. Is that a big old jig? This is a jig. This is, I'm buying it. Oh, this weight alone. That weight alone is worth 25 bucks is expensive, but I'm telling you right now. Fishing gear is expensive nowadays. I'm buying this stuff. We'll go through it at the. Uh, Strangler 3 in 1. Huh. Kind of scary. I know $25 seems high, but there are some. Look at these. Got the Big Mac in here? Yeah, that's what that's a buy. 100%. Mm -hmm. Thinking that's gonna be a no go. Probably worth about 30, 40 bucks, I would think. Is that back guy? Oh, it's a, uh, a lot of work involved in that. The purse we got here. I think going on there. Beer Bradley got for 13. Clipper boots that you're gonna sell for 30. Oh, they are Harley Davidson. They do have the wooden mahogany on the back. That's pretty nice. But not for 30 bucks. You can't really pick those up for like probably 15 or something. So, all right, that ain't bad though. Do it look sorted? Or no. This one does not look too bad. $35 a piece? I mean, how many pieces away? Cool. Yeah. 
Yeah. Probably what, five pounds, six pounds? So they're, what is that? About 580 a pound. Do they look decent? Do they look sorted? I can't really tell. I mean, some of them are marked. Like, number 10 has some marked pieces. I haven't looked at all of them. You want to buy a couple? Yeah. I mean, they don't look that bad. They got like. Uh, yeah, I know. Well, tricky. that's just like. Oh the yeah. By itself, but you know, we could bag up the ones that like people use this for like crafting and stuff. You know right. I mean? So. So probably the most we've ever spent at a Goodwill, right? Yeah. This would probably be the most we've ever spent. $162 on everything. You bought, these were actually 40 bucks. I think we first said they were there $35, but they're actually $39.99. And it's just a whole bunch of costume jewelry. Now, we there was what, 10 of them? And we only bought three of them. You picked out the best ones you thought. If that, I, I mean, I surely that chain's not gold. I don't know. It would. We. I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and give this a shot. I think we're one of the only Goodwills that still do this. Is we've noticed that no other Goodwills have costume jewelry. So if these are good and profitable, um, you're thinking that we would have to get probably what a hundred and uh, over a hundred dollars value out of this. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. It, we'll definitely. Uh, what's gonna happen is we won't go through the entire thing on video most likely you'll just go through it and we'll pull out the pieces that are worth money and then we'll tell you the truth if it's worth it or not this will definitely be worth it this was 25 bucks and this one lord the big mac will go for probably 20 bucks and then his little friend down there will probably go the deal with deep dive red will probably go for 10 and the rest will be pure prop and there's some big old hooks in here these guys were fishing for some huge Ooh, things oh yeah they got some flute rigs all old stuff too this stuff sells way better than the new stuff for some reason. Just watch out, there's like a million triple hooks in there. So they're just hooks. So all big stuff too, old mustad. And then we got the Duncan Hines here, easily 20 bucks on that because it has the the lid now. And then the all clad, this one's gonna be worth about 60. That one's gonna be worth about 40, so $100 there. So really, if you think about it, all the profit is going to be in the jewelry. So either it was a flop or flip or flip flip or flop flip or flop we got home and kayla jumped right into the jewelry she goes through all the bags it only took about an hour to go through every bag and sort everything from stuff we're going to sell in the booth to stuff that we're going to sell on whatnot to then also some stuff that we're going to sell on ebay right down below again this was a hundred and twenty dollars for all three bags do you think it was a flip or a flop and we're about ready to show you back at the house the same day and it is late i will tell you that and we have gone through all the jewelry we have gone through all the fishing gear uh we're gonna go ahead and actually break down the jewelry per bag to see if it was a good deal uh we got blew up on the facebook we put it on facebook and people thought we overpaid for it 39.99 is a lot of money for uh six pounds of jewelry if it was unsorted that would be a decent deal sorted jewelry probably not the best deal but we're gonna go ahead and go through it first the uh i mean the awesome 24.99 mystery fishing box was awesome just in these up here this is a uh what is that that's a rapella finland deep dive this one right here has a soul comp of eight bucks and this is the big mac i think this has a soul comp of 20 to 30 dollars for some reason any type of large lures like this in good condition these have maybe been in the water a couple times maybe not even that because they don't have much corrosion on them uh, i did find these also down here i think this one is called a Corwell Cordell Deep Red Dive. That one goes for a couple bucks, I think like five or six. So right here, you're gonna get your money back and the rest of this is profit. These are some older rigs too. And all this stuff, honestly, I'm gonna lot it together. Probably 10 bucks here, 10 bucks here. These are some big boys. I don't know what they were fishing for, but they were gigantic. What size that hook? You're fishing for jaws at this point. So uh, back in the day, they were $10 and these are older rigs. So nowadays in the store, this would probably be 15 to 20 bucks online. You can probably pick them up for probably five bucks. And I got five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I got 30 bucks just in those rigs. These are really neat right here. I'm gonna keep these because we're gonna use them in the surf. They're breakaway. We call them Sputnik rigs. Uh, they help to you know, grab onto the sand on really bad surf days, like where it's really, really rough. And these are, they're nice. That's a five ounce and that's a four ounce. And then check these jig heads out. If you're a jig head guy, that's 12 ounces of weight right there. What are you trying to catch with this thing? 
but uh, they usually sell in packs. Selling one of them is kind of hard. We have an eight ounce right here, so I'll sell them together and probably about five to six bucks on that. So you're easily gonna triple your money on that. Now to the jury. All right, we have done it all. We will highlight uh, three pieces that we found that will actually put us well up in the profit, and then we'll tell you what's in the boxes. So first piece right here, I think this is called a nap napia. I forget what it was called. But it is from, it's older, it's vintage. A lot of this jewelry was vintage, and uh, a lot of it was marked. This is gold-filled beads. The sold comp on this, $51, so we're saying we're gonna make about 50 bucks on that. This, this one right here is probably the coolest one. They're saying that this is from the 60s, that these are Bakelite dice. And this thing is sold online, I think for 50 bucks or 45 bucks. Uh, a couple have been listed way higher. There's only been one listed, one sold, and then the rest of them are on Google on some weird websites. And uh, I think that this is a $75 piece. You might think I'm crazy, but I think right here because there's it's just not around. Uh, it's missing one charm and we actually have the charm. But right here, 75 bucks. And then these right here are Hawaiian, some sort of seeds. They go for probably about $10. So right there, you're talking 75, 85 plus 50. And then we spent 120 on everything. So you're close to getting your money back. Actually, you are getting your money back plus some here. And these right here are full of items that Kayla has handpicked to put on whatnot and in our booth. So far in our booth, if you watch the other channel, necklaces are selling between uh, $350 to $6 a piece. So we are doing really, really well in small jewelry in our booth. So these are picked out. So let's go ahead and go over the bags. Bag one, she found 30 pieces. Now we're saying $3.50. Some will sell for $2 on whatnot. Some will sell for $10 on whatnot. And some will sell for $10 in our booth. But we thought $3.50 was a good median. And uh, so 30 at $3.50 equals $105. We found, we found one piece for 60 bucks. And then that was the gold fill piece. We think we're gonna get 60 for it. And then we still have two, uh, two pounds of bulk that will sell for six dollars a pound on ebay so that equals 12 bucks so the first bag was worth about 187 second bag 40 pieces at three dollars and fifty cents one piece at 75 dollars which is the dice i think we can list it for 100 and, and then maybe take 75 for it and then two pounds of bulk equals 227 dollars Third bag, 39 pieces. This was our worst bag. 39 pieces at $3.50. And then bulk three pounds because we didn't find a whole bunch. $18. That equals uh, $154.50. So if you add all that together, you're way up in like the $568 range. Take 15% if we sell it in the booth or if we sell it online, we'll take 15% because you're going to have to promote this jewelry pretty high to get it sold. Uh, or, but actually most of it will be sold on whatnot. A couple pieces will be sold on eBay like the dice bracelet and then the gold filled beads. That equals $484 after fees, but then after cost of goods, which is 120 bucks, you're still making $363. And you know that equals a smiley face. So a good day out there at the thrift stores, all clad, jewelry, gold fill. We're really hoping we find some gold, but honestly, I think that they sort this stuff. I think there's a sorter back there is looking through it, picking out the gold, the silver. It's very weird in all that um, uh, amount of jewelry. We didn't find any sterling silver or at least any gold whatsoever. So they're definitely sorted, but honestly, I mean, make it 363 bucks. You put this on whatnot, that's one show. You're probably gonna make half of that back. The eBay stuff might take a while to sell. I don't think it's gonna take a, a long time to sell that uh, that dice bracelet, I think that'll sell very, very quickly. So you're gonna be well up in the profit probably in one show on whatnot, and then also on eBay. And the booth sales are actually doing really well. We are covering that on our other channel, the Flip Squad, so that's a good day. And anytime you can pick up fishing stuff at a Goodwill, I'm about it. I mean, $24.99 is a little bit high, but once I saw the Big Mac in there and the other uh, lore, I was like, I gotta buy it. So that ain't too bad. Again, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. We are about 700 away from 100,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, it would mean a lot to me. Hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get there before 2024. And if you have any type of social media, share us out. That's all I'm saying now. Just share us out. We're really trying to hit 100,000 before 2024. I do appreciate it again. Subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always get you on the next one.